Living Rooms, a poem about everything that scares me. Some nights I sit and listen to my heartbeat as the sun sets through lonely bedroom window and when I really want to listen, I'll fold my ear over and lay it against the pillow. I'll listen as my whole body synchronizes with the breath of my apartment building, with the thud of the water heater in the hallway closet. You think someone else was here. Know what living sounds like before you try to breathe. I'm not scared to talk about death. If anything, it makes me feel more alive. My body is so loud, I wonder if it knows it. Within the first 10 seconds of silence in our conversation, I realize I can't look you in the eyes for too long. The summer in the front seat of you, of your white Honda, you wrap a rope around your neck and forgot how to talk. Five months later, you swear everything is fine while sipping tea that's too hot. I cannot look you directly in the eyes because I know my own ask for too much and they ask too many questions without asking me first and I can't wrap my arms around them and hold them back long enough to pretend they care less. They actually do and it's way more than that. And I worry that my own face betrays me and that all at once you'll realize every worry is imploding inside of me. That every second I'm trying to push myself back into a body with no lid. A mouth that's never learned to say to stay shut. Tea tastes better when you aren't holding back a tongue. I talk to my spirit guide on Friday nights. In my empty living room, the two pieces of furniture I have hug the corners of the room like they're hoping the walls will just absorb them, like they reject the living that is happening in this room. I sit on itchy carpet that looks like my room from 2014 and wonder how much longer it will take until I finally realize I'm just as insane as my father. Mm. We are two in the same. We both talk to people who are not physically here, except he talks to Allah, and I've never met him. I spend a lot of time lingering on the fact that I won't be able to tell yesterday that it was okay to watch your shirt soak up all the love you have for a sister who thinks you betrayed her and that today you have a good conversation about astrology with her and you laugh about your ceiling um, because and you laugh at your ceiling because you wonder how you could have read the, the future so wrong. I've lost love. I had it in my palm, secured, and I don't know who took it or who I gave it to. I can't remember love. She is now a childhood friend who runs circles only in my memories, who talks of dead roses like they're still here, like they still sit on my grandmother's grave as if I left them there myself. If I saw her now, I would recognize the creases near her mouth or the way her body expands when I say hello. She used to be so vibrant in every hour of my day but she continues to fade. I, I worry I'm spiraling into nonsense, nonsense with every word I say. Yet, I continue to pretend love is what will ground me one day. I can't say why.